Hi, welcome to ACC's Admission Checklist video series. My name is Courtney and I, in this video, I will be guiding you through the application form. Once you have activated your application account, you will then need to sign in. Be sure when signing in to check the box, I am not a robot. Once you have signed in, you will locate a purple button that reads create a new application. Once you click on that, you will then be prompted to select a start new undergraduate application. Then you will click on your desired start date. Once you have selected the correct start date, click submit. This will then take you to the application form, which includes five sections. During this process, at any time, you can select save application to save the application and continue for a later time. In order to continue through the process, you will select the save and continue to complete each step of the application process. The first section is personal information and contact information. The second portion of the application is academic information. This is the academic information section. If you're a guest student, meaning you plan to attend our college for one semester, select yes for the question stating that. Then select if you have earned any college credits to date. If you're a concurrent enrollment student, the second question in the section is going to be asked about your graduation slash high school equivalency. You will answer this question by selecting, no, I'm a current high school student who will not graduate prior to the semester for which I'm applying, AKA concurrent enrollment student. The next question which you'll want to look for is what is your current goal for community college? In this section, you'll want to select Take college courses while I'm still in high school. Then you will select an area of interest. And if you're not sure, you can put not sure slash not, se not seeking a degree or certificate. Then you can select a degree or certificate. And if you're unsure, you can click undeclared. Next, you'll enter your high school and our high school equivalency details. Then you will select yes, and then you will enter the month you earned or anticipate to earn your diploma or high school equivalency. If you are a readmit student, meaning you have already taken classes at ACC, this includes concurrent enrollment students, be sure to select yes if you have earned any college credits to date. Then answer the question, how are those credits earned? Select after high school at the college where I'm applying. If you are a concurrent enrollment student, you can select while still in high school. If you are a transfer student, meaning you have college credit from another institution, be sure to select yes if you have earned any college credits to date. Then answer the question, how are those credits earned by selecting after high school at another college than the college where I'm applying. If you graduated from an international high school, enter international high school in the school name field. If you were homeschooled, enter homeschool in the school name field. The third section is residency information. This is the residency information section. Current F-1 visa students should select current visa holder and students seeking F-1 visa should select seeking student visa and review our admissions website for more information. If you are a DACA or un documented student, select other non-US citizen. Once that is selected, it will no longer be necessary to enter a social security number. The fourth section is demographic information, which includes military status, selective service requirements, amongst other important demographic questions. And the final step is the College Opportunity Fund and certification. If you are a Colorado resident, select apply on my behalf. When you get to the certification, click yes and also sign electronically. You will then submit your application. After submitting your application, you should wait three to five business days to receive a follow-up email, which will include your admissions decision and provides you with your student number and next steps.